Do these LED lights really make a difference when it comes to fishing with bait? Well, I've got an opinion. Stay tuned. In an earlier article, I discussed how color is not as significant a fish attractor as we all assumed. And that's based on the science that Steve Starling laid out in the article that I'll link up down below. And basically, different colors of light, which is the color reflected off your lure, travel different distances underwater. So, and what Steve discovered, and I'll get into the LEDs here in a minute, is that fish can see a black lure much, much farther away than they can see a red lure. In fact, red penetrates the least, black penetrates the most. Well, in terms of LEDs, you're not going to get an LED that flashes black. So the next colors in the penetration rainbow were blue and green, followed by yellow, orange, and then red penetrates the least. So over the last year, basically, I've been doing an experiment using these small LED lights. You can see it flashing here. This is a multicolored flasher that goes from white, blue, red, and green. Now, what I did is I tested, I bought some of these that were just red, uh, correction. Well, yeah, I, I guess I bought them in red, green, blue, and of course these multis. And I tested how well they attracted fish with the assumption being that a, red, a flashing LED light that penetrates the water column would be seen far away, attract fish to my lure, and then they'd bite it. Now again, at the last five feet, fish can see the color of your lure, and that's where it becomes important. Now I've been using this on live bait, so color really isn't an issue with me because the live bait I use, either crabs or mullet, is all just kind of a natural color. So I started out using blue and then green, and I had some luck, but the conclusion over the year of testing was that the the versions of these that flash a single color do not flash very fast. This one, I'll make it flash again, you can see that it flashes quickly and rotates through all the colors. And my buddy and I, again, in extensive testing, discovered that that is the key. The fact that it flashes quickly and imitates a sparkling color as the fish gets closer is probably what keys the fish on the light, attracts them to the live or dead bait, and then chomps. So where do you put this thing on your rig? Well, again, we ran tests and I put it near the bottom, near the weight. I was using a bottom rig. And then I would put it up above. Well, actually, I was using a Santee rig because I would put the float on there to kind of keep the bait suspended up off the bottom. So I put some of them down near the weight at the bottom, and then I would put others right either next to the bait or a couple inches above the bait. And the conclusion I had was that it was better to put this thing a couple inches above the bait because then it would not interfere with the hook. And if you had to break off your rig when the bottom weight caught on an oyster bed or something like that, then you wouldn't lose these lights. And these lights cost about a buck a piece. You can get them mostly on eBay or uh, AliExpress, I think. And they may even have them on Amazon. And I'll, I'll look at all those places. And if I can find the links again, I'll put them down below. Of course, the links on eBay don't really persist as much as they would from a vendor. So here's the bottom line recommendation is if you want to try it this coming season, I would give it a go. And I'd be interested to see if you guys have the same great experience and good luck that I've had with this over the last year or two. And I'm convinced that these flashing LEDs penetrate a little bit farther when they're flashing on the blue and the green. That brings the fish in. And then the shimmer of the multi-sparkle is what attracts them and causes them to hit my bait. I think it works. Throw your comments down below. Take care.